On board Thunderbird 5, John Tracy is listening intently to the dramatic events. He contacts Tracy Ireland. Those guys are in so much trouble now, Father. They can't help but agree to us becoming involved. OK, call them up. Lady International Rescue Calling, we are offering assistance. Your security will not be violated. We are just as eager to maintain our secrecy. Thank you, International Rescue. The two Thunderbirds streak from their launch pads. Thunderbird 1 reaches the danger zone. Thunderbird? Thunderbird 1 from Thunderbird 2. This is Brain Scat. I'm with Virgil. What's it like? Can't tell yet, Brains. But there's one heck of a bonfire under the desert. Scott is met and hardly brought to the room adjoining the launching the launch bay. We have 20 minutes before the road radiation gives out in the with the fuel that the rocket carries. Okay, I'll call for Thunderbird 2 for the equipment we will need. Thunderbird 2 arrives and the apparatus starts its journey. Within minutes, the international rescue team settle their plan and prepare to enter the bay. Dampen down the fire to clear the smoke, brains. Okay, let's go. Feverishly, Scott and Virgil work to unbot the electrical circuit cowlings, but brains notice the tail tail crack. Scott, Virgil, the hole. Crafts! Go to topple! Topple! Get away! Quick! But the warning comes too late! <laughs> Scott and Virgil are attempting to close down the engines of depth probe, a rocket carrying a highly dangerous new fuel to space. The rocket is sabotaged before it leaves the launch pad and topples over. It supports burnt away by the rocket boosters. Split! Second saves Scott and Virgil from being crushed against the launch bay wall. Every man waits, but miraculously the fuel does not explode. Phew! That was nearly goodbye, Nevada! Out of alignment with the exhaust ducts, depth probes, rockets, boosters, Hammer against the launch pad bay walls. Heat rises upwards. We're in real trouble now. The inferno will set the fuel off for sure. In the depth probe, new, the depth probe nose cone needles travel across the dials towards the red zones. What's the next move, brains? Well, uh, well, Scott, we'll have to call. That rock, rocket, get both firefighters out and a uh, quick. Scott and Virgil head for Thunderbird 2. Minutes later, <whistles> shafts of water beat against the pantheon housing unit and slowly the temperature is held steady. We're pouring water in at 300 gallons a minute, Brains. The supply won't last long. Ah, I plan to pump the pentagon aboard Thunderbird 2. I'll bring the security guards up to help. The international rescue team moves into operation with virtual supervising the land of the fuel lines. Scott and Brains struggle to remove the covering plates from the fuel outlets. All things going, Brains. Uh, almost ready, Virgil. The pipe line link up is completed. We've made, we've made it, Brains. But as the pumping gets underway, the firefighters run dry. The temperature's right. Say it again, and we've still two thousand gallons of fuel left. 
but that's impossible. Our pub stopped. It's empty. It's lying off the ship, Scott. Uh, the fuel still inside. Still, the fuel inside is still lying over and away from the outlets. Well, you have. You've saved the fire, but those when those two thousand guns go up, we'll go up with them. We've got to get a. We've got to get our crew clear, brains. What happens? Yeah, but can we make it in time? Depth probe, a spaceship scheduled to carry highly dangerous plutonium fuel to an orbital launching pad. Launch pad is sabotaged. International rescue unloads, unload all but two thousand gallons, which now threatens to explode. It operate in the, op the operation depth probe control room. Men, watch and wait. Plutonium temperature twelve thousand degrees and rising. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get you out. Pacifium, if you ignite at fifteen thousand degrees, they won't make it. Flanking the hatchway, Scott and Brains attack the remaining bolts. Thirteen thousand degrees, and ri and rising. Scott to Virgil, we'll need to haul these men clear quickly. Have Thunderbird to overhead with harnesses lowered. F.O.B. Scott. A minute later. You guys ready to leave? Yes, sir. Readings at 14,030. 14, 14, We've got 15 seconds at the most. Outside the Nevada Decker. That it echoes the screams of Thunderbird 2's hover jets. Thunderbird to the brains, lowering harnesses now! Fingers become clumsy as anxious seconds tick. Control to international rescue, pattern ignition estimated 4 seconds. 3, 2, 1. Zero. Zero minus one. Zero minus two. Nothing's happened. I uh, think it will. <laughs> the smoke and fumes clear. The end of Operation that broke. But the base is safe. But the base is safe. And with a crash pro on the unit, we'll be okay. I still don't understand what went wrong. While Virgil is pumping the petroleum, pumping the petroleum back into the storage tanks, perhaps I'll find the answer to that question. Brain studies in detail both plans and spacecraft until the fault lies are here, gentlemen. The our cables were corroded away. Sponsor, check that area. Where is he? But Professor Spencer has disappeared. No sign of him, sir. I'm not surprised. You see, this was a sabotage. Get me. My security and all this confusion can be miles away. Base security sounds emergency alert. <laughs> the net closes with Spencer in it, and minutes later, the burner stick agent is under close arrest. With the good, the echoes of good wishes in their ears, the international rescue team lift off. Scott turns and heads for Tracy Island and below him the hell fire valley looks as, as it done for centuries. Below the surface below the surface men start one work once more on Operation Depth Probe.
Do 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 do